Hey everyone, what's going on? It is Acidic Blitz of Acidic Gamers, and look at me using the motto. Oh, never mind. Switch it up for you. MP7 extended mags with rapid fire. Yeah, that's the gameplay I'm rocking out. Got slot of hand, hardline, and steady aim. Hardline Pro, just just throwing it out there. One of the best perks in the game. You're going to see it's pretty much the only reason I get 70 kills this game. Spoiler alert, uh, final score 70 and 3. So, hope I didn't ruin it for you guys, but I'm sure the title probably gives it away. But... That's pretty much it for the gameplay. Actually, one more thing I want to touch on about the gameplay is look at that spray there. The assault drone is literally one of the best freaking kill streaks in the game. I mean, honestly, I'm using a Predator missile, Overwatch, and assault drone, and if you use that setup, you're pretty much always going to get all your kill streaks, especially if you get the triple kill right up in here. Bam! But yeah, the assault drone, it's like insane how good it is. This is one of the first games I really took like like took it seriously and actually tried to use it. I know when I first called in, I get the challenge for calling in eight of them, but the only reason I called in seven others was just to try and get that, like, the ch the challenge, which leads to the emblem. So I never actually used them. I just, like, called in the little care package thing and, like, never used it because I figured it was kind of crappy. But after this game, just my mind got blown. So, yeah, the Assault Drone is amazing, and I definitely recommend trying it out if you haven't already done so. So, anyways, getting into the topic at hand today... Basically, I'm going to talk about like smaller channels, which I am one of them obviously, and how people like treat smaller channels, because it's really, really just sad how small channels get treated around here in the YouTube community, and I get, I mean, obviously not having a, a big um, fan base, obviously that makes a difference, but still, it's kind of, it's still really sad. So as to get into it, it's like, if a smaller YouTuber like, okay, I'm actually going to use myself as an example, and one of the videos I already uploaded. So I uploaded that uh, Mono for 3 75 kill TDM a few weeks ago, and it got tons of hate because people just assumed it was fake. I'm guessing they probably didn't even watch the entire video because personally, I mean, obviously the gameplay was okay. I mean, it is a 75 kill TDM, and I don't think it's the hardest thing in the world to do, but it was still, I mean, it was the very first one there is. I'm not saying it's impressive, but I'm just saying it was pretty cool to do and everything. But I doubt they all watched it. And the people that like were hating on it and disliking it were probably just doing so because they assumed it was fake and they thought that maybe I was maybe I was trying to say that it was like super impressive and I was the only one that could do it. Which is obviously not how I came across and not what I said at all. And I'm just gonna say that if like someone like an X Jaws or a White Boy uploaded that exact same gameplay with obviously their own commentary on it, they wouldn't have gotten near as much hate as I did for it just because of who they are and how big they are. But because I'm a smaller channel it's a huge debacle, and apparently, if you're a small channel, everything you do is fake, and you just get caught out in everything you do. So you really have to watch what you do as a small channel, because most people will just assume if it's really impressive, it's probably fake. And that leads me to another thing about people that are hating on videos. This is getting off topic a little bit, but a lot of people hate on really good scoring gameplays because they can't do it, so they assume that no one else can. I know you guys probably aren't that way. I mean, I assume you guys aren't. You guys are like some of the best subs out there, so I doubt you're like that. But I know some people get dislikes on their like high scoring videos because the people that are viewing it and disliking it can't actually do that themselves. And since they can't do it, they're like, well, if I can't do it, why should I like his video? Because he can do it. Or something like that. I don't know. I don't know why I put the voice on there, but something like that. And another thing, I was watching a video earlier today about some stupid shot. Like, it was some sniper shot I'm on over to. It was, like, in the little related videos or suggestions on, like, the right-hand side of your YouTube thing. Like, the homepage for you when you sign into your account. And it was, um... Ah, I forget what it was called. It was some dude doing a sh Okay, it was, like, the mute shot where, like, he uh, was on a really high platform. He jumped off, did a 360, and in the middle of the 360... He uh, opened the scoreboard and muted the player that he was about to kill, I think, or just any player there is. And then, like, he shot him and killed him. And I read a comment saying, I don't know what it said. It was really poorly wor worded there. So, I mean, I, I would never word a phrase. No, I, I just never word something like that because whatever. Just forget it. I'm just going to rephrase it in, you know, good speaking terms, you know, in English, as they would, as they would call it. So, basically, what it said was... Okay, you hit this, but if a smaller channel had hit this, then it would have not gotten any of these views and would have, wouldn't have gotten all these likes. Which I agree with completely because if, say, I had uploaded something like that, they would people that would view it would instantly dislike it and be like, 
fake private match open lobby nope fake nope it, it was all set up just because i'm a small channel but since this guy was a decently big i think he was in phase and you guys i'm pretty sure you know how i feel about phase i don't like him because i don't like how they how, what they stand for about sniping doing trick shots and all that stupid like temper shot stuff i don't know i'm not going to get into it but if i had uploaded that exact same video then i definitely wouldn't have gotten all that and there that guy takes me out or not takes me out but he takes out my Air support and final stand. What is that? Come on, Infinity Ward. Fix your game. Anyways. But yeah, if I had uploaded that exact same video, I definitely would have gotten so much hate on it. And it's just sad how the community treats small channels. I mean, you gotta think. At one point, Sam... I mean, not Sam. Well, technically Sam. x and Whiteboard, they were small like me. They didn't have as many subs as they do now, obviously. They were small channels like myself. And it's just like... They didn't get treated that way when they were small channels, so why should we have to, like, just deal with it and, like, have to take all this shit that we get as smaller channels because of our size? I mean, it's kind of stupid how it works, and, I mean, the people that hate on me, sometimes they have channels that are smaller than mine, and I'm not gonna say their videos are shit or anything, but their videos definitely don't have the quality of mine. In terms of definitely like gameplay quality, I can, I don't really judge other people other people's commentaries, unless they're horrible. I mean, I compare them if they're horrible, but I don't compare them to me. I just judge them if they're horrible. I know that sounds kind of bad, but I mean, you can easily tell a really 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 bad commentary from a you know a good one. But I mean, if you're gonna get anywhere in the YouTube scene, obviously, pro tip for you guys, if any of you guys are YouTube makers out there, HD quality, good, clear, crisp quality like mine are. I'm not saying mine are the best, but I like to think I have really good quality, like the best that I can possibly make for myself, and I take this back to Black Ops. I mean, I started my channel with not the best quality, but then I wanted to take it a little more seriously, you know, have some more fun with it, you know, mess around with color correction, and it was good. 360 with the spin with the kill. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was just kind of cool. I wish it would have been a faster, like, spin 360 kill, but whatever. But yeah, that's pretty much how I feel about how we get treated as small channels around here. And I should change, but we all know, never going to change. And basically, something that I've just been realizing, I mean, I've been doing this for over a year now, or a year and two months as I'm actually making this. And basically, throughout my year and two months that I've been on YouTube, what I've blatantly been learning is that my channel will never get big. It will never get big, it will never get noticed unless I get a shout out. Or I get a big YouTuber to like every single one of my videos. So that's also pretty sad that the fact now that it doesn't matter if you have the best gameplay and the best commentary in the freaking world, it doesn't matter because if you're a small channel, you're never going to get known. I mean, I guess if you have really, really good gameplay, which is stupid because like if you have good gameplay, it doesn't mean you have good commentary. But if you have really good gameplay, you could easily get like a bigger commentator, a bigger YouTuber to like like it or you know, like feature you or something. But what's the deal? What if you have really good commentary? I like to think my commentaries and gameplay are good. I think I have a variety and, you know, equal amount of both goodness, I guess you could call it. But I'm never really going to get a shout out. I mean, I'm trying. Believe me, I try to get my videos out there and everything. And it would be awesome if I can get a shout out. But who knows? Who knows? It, it might may happen one day. But I like to think I might be able to do it. And the thing is that if you have really good commentary, you should get help for that too. I mean, just because you have good gameplay doesn't mean... You're going to grow as a YouTuber. I mean, you have to have good commentary to effectively be a good YouTuber. That's all I'm saying. So that's pretty much my take on why we small channels get treated like shit in this community and why that should change, but never will. So other than that, guys, hope you guys had a nice day. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope you enjoyed the gameplay. One of my best so far. And other than that, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video and would like to check out more videos of mine, please go ahead and check out one of the two videos on screen now or click on the random video to take you to a randomly random randomness of all random in the world of randomness video. It's a lot of random there, guys. I think you might want to click on it.